Patients often ask about intratumoral immunotherapy. And intratumoral immunotherapy is where you inject immunotherapy directly into a tumor. And of course, you know, one thing that patients question is they say, well, you know, if you're treating one tumor and you've got tumors elsewhere, what about those? Well, it's been established that if you can train the immune system in that environment around the tumor that you inject, you have a higher chance that the immune system will then go and attack a tumor elsewhere. This is like a vaccine type effect. And you don't have to take my word for it. You can look at articles published by James Allison, who won the Nobel Prize, Ronald Levy at Stanford. Many different researchers have shown that injecting the immunotherapy into tumors is not only effective, but can be far more effective than systemic immunotherapy. And there are several reasons for it. One, obviously one good reason is you're using a lower dose in the tumor, less toxicity. Well, that's certainly a plus. Uh, but the other thing is combinations. You can do much more co higher combinations, more medicines injected into the tumor in that local environment. You can never give that systemically. And so if you teach the immune system there locally, then it acts globally throughout the body. And that's a very, very important concept. And I know that for a lot of people, they find that hard to believe, but believe me, it's well established. You can Google it. I'm not the only one that says this. There's many people that have done this. We're just the ones that are taking the lead and doing more and more medications with it. It's very effective and a great technique. And this is the future of immunotherapy. You cannot give patients significant combinations of these drugs intravenously. The only way that you're gonna be able to do it is to do it into the tumor. Now certainly it doesn't mean that the systemic immunotherapies are gonna completely go away, but you're gonna definitely see some combinations of those two. And of course, that's things that we're already doing. In addition, when you add agents or other technologies such as ablation, there's these ablative technologies and there's some new ones that I'm gonna talk about soon that are highly immune stimulating, even far more than cryoablation. These are extremely exciting and when you're seeing the combination of those two together, super effective and very, very excited. And I look forward to sharing that with you in a future episode. Thank you.